when are you planning on going to space? <laughs> So as soon as I can uh, sell one of my companies to buy one of these <laughs> orbital flights, uh, so putting my Space Adventures hat on now, mm -hmm. which I'm uh, co-founder and vice chairman of, we've yeah. got three tickets on a future Soyuz flight to the space station in 2013, 14, and 15. The price tag um, is in the upper 40 millions, you know, 48 to 50 million bucks a pop. I have to sell one of these companies quickly to be able to <laughs> afford that. In the meantime, uh, the suborbital flights that mm -hmm. companies like Space Adventures, Armadillo, Virgin Galactic are offering. I'm holding two tickets mm -hmm. uh, to go on that, and that's hopefully a 2013 time frame. So uh, as soon as I can go, I'm there. Wow. Yeah. And uh, one of your uh, more intriguing ideas is the idea of colonies free-floating in space. Will we see that in our lifetimes or our children's lifetimes? So I'm an optimist when it comes to space. Yeah. Uh, you know, you have incredible individuals who have were born in the 60s and made a tremendous amount of wealth. But when they were alive in the 60s, they got turned on by Star Trek and Apollo like yeah. I did. But now they're billionaires like Paul Allen and Richard Branson and uh, Jeff Bezos uh, Paul and uh, you know, literally are able now to take the money they've made and hopefully fulfill their vision mm -hmm. that they had as a child. So that's where you have folks like Elon Musk and Paul Allen and Jeff Bezos all building private space companies. You know, in their heart of hearts, I know I have, many of us have given up on NASA being the mechanism to get us there. Mm -hmm. You know, God bless the agency for all the work and exploration they've done, but when are we going to go back to the moon privately or to Mars or to the colonies? And if some of these people do their job right and invest their hard-earned capital, mm -hmm. hopefully it's going to be in the next decade or two, mm -hmm. not the next century. And uh, when's it going to be the right time to unveil your asteroid mining venture? <laughs> you, have a na you have an incredible knack for timing. And so, I, I almost want to see when as much as what. So uh, what I can tell you is that since my childhood, yeah. I've wanted to do one thing, be an asteroid miner. So stay, <laughs> stay tuned on that one.